So usually I would start off my video with how's it going date to video, but instead I'm gonna let the patch notes scroll right past and let you know just real quick the NZ's been nerfed, two of the SMGs have been nerfed, the Armaguera remains untouched, and they did a couple other odds and ends, fixed a few things, yada yada yada. But that is not the main focus of this video if you read that title. Our main focus is on this skin. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Rose skin. Let's face it, Rose has how many skins? And this is the first one that comes to mind the second we say the Rose skin. This came out in Season 5 of Modern Warfare. And yet, the second you see the skin, you know exactly what time you're in for. Nothing but slide canceling, sweating, and going all over the place. Why are you people still using this skin? There's so many to choose from. You've had over a year to pick something new. But I digress. Wait, that's not the skin they're complaining about this time? Alright, one sec. Oh, now I get it. So they gave us a bundle that you actually have to pay for with real money in order to pretty much have the equivalent of the rose skin. And of course, yeah, it comes with Port Nova. You can barely fucking see this thing in a corner. And even the guns are made so you can't see them in a corner. Yeah, sure, you get 2,400 COD points and the skin looks rather cool. But I mean, Jesus Christ, these guns aren't even meta anymore. Who the fuck? I'm wrong again? Wait, 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 wait. Three times. They fucking did this three times. How many times do we have to teach you this fucking lesson, you morons? So, where do I even begin? Let's start off with the most ironic thing. That skin you just saw from Black Ops Cold War? Guess what season that dropped in? Yeah. Season 4 of Black Ops Cold War. The Rose skin. Rose originally drops in guess what? Season 4 of Modern Warfare. Eventually getting her skin granted in the season after that. Okay, so what about Season 4 apparently screams, let's add a dark skin that no one can see in a corner with weapons that may or may not be ever so slightly over-fucking-powered. Where do I even begin with this? Let, let's start with the skin. You know, for a second I really thought it was going to show nothing in the background. Now, don't get me wrong. The skin looks amazing. Like the highlights are really cool this probably would have been better in black ops just because it has that tron vibe from the 80s and i don't know what it's exactly doing in vanguard but then again the fact that we've had king kong godzilla we're getting the t-800 the t-1000 I, I digress but the fact that if you were to go in game right now and try to spot the skin on console specifically forget it you thought fov slider was a problem this is worse. Now granted, if you actually decide to get this pay to win skin, you do get your 2400 COD points, you walk away with the skin, you walk away with, well, a halfway decent sniper rifle that's not too too bad, but it's not god tier, although if it's, you aim at the head it's a one shot kill. You of course get your hands on a nice little MP40. And pretty much everything is geared towards, well, oh, I don't know. Kind of looks like we're pushing towards the Terminator viability thing and 2,400 COD points. Now you tell me in the comments section down below. One, did you get this bundle? And if so, what convinced you? Two, have you run into the skin already? And if so, have you also realized how fucking sweaty it is, as it's already been labeled the Rose 3.0? So, if you enjoyed watching this video and just hearing me rant for a little bit about how they not did this not only once, not only twice, but now three times, twice of which you actually had to pay real money to get your hands on the bundle, otherwise you weren't going to get your hands on it. Which is absolutely astronomical. So, I'm gonna go back to Fall Guys and uh, have a good time. You guys have a wonderful day, night, whatever you're doing, do it wholeheartedly. And of course, as always, this is Dank Dan, signing off. Get them to hit that subscribe button, Dank. It's the only way we can figure out the numbers. What do the numbers mean, Dank? We're wasting valuable time.